Hi, I'm Mary Malad. I'm with the University of Edinburgh, and I will be speaking about our paper, Statistical Confidence in Mining Power Estimates for Proof-of-Work Blockchains. And I know that's a bit of a mouthful, so let's just start at the beginning. Let's take a look at blockchain cryptocurrency ledgers. So when a miner successfully completes a probabilistic puzzle, a transaction gets added to the blockchain. And the ability of miners to complete puzzles is proportional to their mining power. So let's say that this battery here shows the total mining power of the ledger beneath it. If just one of the miners holds the majority of the mining power, then they could rewrite the blockchain, which means that they could potentially spend the, double, the same coin twice, um, which is a serious security risk. So it's really important, obviously, then to quantify how close we are to this risk. And thankfully, we have a way of doing that. The Nakamoto coefficient is a really common way of quantifying this risk. It's an integer, which is the minimum number of miners who would need to coordinate to hold more than 50% of the mining power. So if we return to this example with the battery, here we see a ledger where it would take three people to work together to exceed this 50% threshold, and our Nakamoto coefficient would be three. But how do we quantify mining power? So most researchers will look at the proportion of blocks that were mined in a given time period. And very often this is done on a daily basis. So let's do just that. Let's look at this example of 10 blocks being mined in one day. Let's say in this day, Adam and Brady here each mined four of the 10 blocks and Clara mined two. Then since Brady and Clara, for example, have mined 60% of the blocks, then we might assume they hold 60% of the power, and therefore the Nakamoto coefficient is 2. But remember how mining a block is a probabilistic process? What that means is Adam here could have just had a bad day, and he didn't mine 50% of the blocks, but he actually holds more than 50% of the power. So that means that if we base our calculations on just the blocks mined that day, then the Nakamoto coefficient will tell us that two people hold the majority of the power when in reality it's really one person, Adam. And in this case, we underestimate the security risk. And this happens in real life. So in this paper, we'll show you how the existing ways of reporting the Nakamoto coefficient underestimate security risk for five major proof of work blockchains and will offer a straightforward solution for addressing statistical uncertainty in mining power estimates.